All right, guys, now we have a very important order of business. Um, this is something that Filipinos all over the country now are doing, um, and I'm sure people all over the world are doing this now too. Um, and Mabuhay Squad, it needs to be done here as well. Guys, what we're doing now is... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Redesigning the home because guys yesterday as you know was January the 6th which was Three Kings Day and after that Christmas decorations come down um, here in the Philippines but I really like the new like look at these new beautiful pillows RJ's been busy kind of rearranging changing the energy up at our place of course we have our cute art given to us by Richard Mabuhay Squad Richard Alford thank you so much Richard they look really good there and size good morning our cipher is bouncy and high as usual um, and guys I think his hip is really really healing we'll find out from his x-ray during his next vet visit like how healed it is but I mean like we could really tell in his like activity that he's doing well Ooh, but RJ's got like a whole bunch of decor that still needs to go up just rearranging changing the energy up and as for me I think I'm gonna go for a run even though it's so late and sunny OMG I'm gonna get so dark so guys remember how I said I couldn't run well my my foot is okay. I, feeling has come back to my foot. So I'm gonna run again because tentatively our TV commercial shoot is at the like end of the month around the 25th. So I'm doing my calculations now and I gotta run and stop running maybe around the 15th because when I run guys I like swell up like when I'm working out my face and body kind of gets bloated. I don't know why maybe it's because I'm repairing and then I give it like a week or so and and it like sucks in everything gets tight gets tight so um i need to be thin you know why because you know how they say television adds weight it is so true guys honestly like if you want to look good on tv you almost have to be extra skinny not even joking like when you look buff you look too bulky and like short whereas if you like really work to get thin on television it just looks normal you know it's funny when i first opened for the pussycat dolls right they look great on television they look great in their music videos but when i saw them in real life i was just like OMG, they are so skinny in real life! Uh, it's so true. Television or the camera adds weight. So you almost have to overcompensate by losing more weight than usual. This was my error for the past two commercials. I should have really like lost more weight. So I'm gonna try that for next television commercial coming up. And no, I'm not doing it the cheating way by depriving myself of food. No way, I love food. I am not gonna stop eating food. I'm just gonna up my exercise and be more selective as to what food I eat. For example, look at what I ordered yesterday. Oh, ho, ho, a huge salad. This will last me, I think, pretty much all day. <laughs> Yum. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't believe in depriving myself from food. I will still eat cheesecake. I will still eat ice cream. I will still eat chocolate. I will still eat pizza. Just up the exercise, right? And the kind of exercise matters too. I don't want to lift heavy, heavy weights because that will make me bulky and I will gain weight. Okay guys, let's do some positive affirmations. For Thursday, January the 7th, I know that everyone I encounter today has my best interest at heart. There you go guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. All right guys, just ran a delicious 5K outside. It started to rain, so I couldn't run anymore. But ah, uh, feels so good to be outside in the sun. So RJ rearranged things. I love that globe up there. It's like we're looking into space at another planet. Everything is looking really nice. Mm-hmm, Cypher's just here looking cute. Right, Sives? What a cute dog. He's starting to get scruffy again. Sives, it's time for you to get another haircut. All the scruff. Scruff, scruff, scruff. So for those of you who are new, Cypher is like part teacup chihuahua, part Yorkshire Terrier, and part Bichon Frise. And that's why his hair is just so unique. It's like one big puffball. You're a big puffball, Sives. Seriously. He's sleepy. He's usually taking a nap at this time, but he's looking upstairs. Where's RJ? I know. We're waiting for him too. Just hang in there, Sives. OMG, guys. It's a crazy world on social media right now. 
As you guys know, same day edits. All you Mabuhay squad in the US, my prayers go out to you, no matter what your political stance is. Um, hope this all sorts out. There's like craziness regarding Jeffree Star and like the Kardashians and it's just I need to put down. I need to, you know how when the world is affected by a virus, you social distance. I like need to social media distance right now. I'm getting into squabbles on Twitter about politics and I'm not even saying anything on po about politics, which is why like people are dragging me because they're like, it's you should pick a stance, blah, blah, blah. Being a fence sitter at this time, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, no. This is my social media. I can post whatever I want. You know what I mean? Like, don't follow me. If, if, if you think like my, my social media has to include everything I believe in. Anyways, some people, some people are the, under the impression that if they're active on Twitter, it causes huge changes. When really, huge changes are caused by votes. Vote, like your life depends on it. Don't tweet like your life depends on it. I tweeted that earlier, some of these kids, honestly. Anyways, I'm not very good with controversy on the internet. And I mean, if I ever do end up squabbling with people on the internet, it's as if I'm there in real life. My hood comes out, if you know what I mean, Western Road represent. <laughs> I just want fun and happy things, positive vibes, an escape from like the craziness that is the internet 90% of the time. Anyways, speaking of positive vibes and the internet, um, have been uh, brainstorming our next parody. And I'm super excited because now that RJ and I are starting to go out into the world, we're starting to become more and more open to working with our team again and finally uploading some parodies to the channel. Uh, so that's coming up soon. Eee, yes, I can't wait. Can't wait to make people laugh again. By the way, Mabuhay Squad, are you following me on Twitter? Go, go, go. It's at Mikey Bustos. I tend to hang out there because it's like brief interactions. Um, of course, I read through these comments because um, every night these vlogs go up. I read through as many of them as I can. But if you guys want like direct access to me, tweet me. Converse with me on Twitter. I love that. I love seeing Mabuhay Squad on Twitter. And also follow me on Instagram, Mikey underscore Bustos. I like posting new pictures. And actually, my New Year's resolution this year is to take better photos. You know, I've got such good cameras and equipment. Like for Ants Canada, we've invested in like, I I don't know, maybe 13 to 15,000 US dollars in equipment. Um, and I never use it for my Instagram. I'm always using like my cell phone or, you know, like even the vlogging camera sometimes. But my New Year's resolution now is to upload nicer photos. To like, you know, do the moments of life justice. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I'll be looking back at these photos and my family might, if we have future kids, maybe they might. Um, so I wanna capture these moments in best quality as I can and do the moments justice, right? So guys, just got some news um, about something that happened um, at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse, our future home, as you guys know. OMG, it's blowing my mind right now. And don't worry, it's good news. Um, and I think you guys will be really, really shocked to find out. Mabuhay Squad, the thing that happened at the Mabuhay Squad farm is 